Ah, the classic tale of the lovesick doormat groveling for crumbs of attention, right? A truly pathetic spectacle. But look at you, finally deciding to open your eyes and admit you're tired of being the clown in her circus. Welcome to the club of those who've decided to ditch the leash. Controlled disdain, my friend. That's what you need. This isn't about turning into some heartless ogre, but it's definitely about not being her doormat anymore. Want a little secret? No woman respects someone who throws themselves on the ground to be walked all over. So stop following her around like a desperate puppy and start showing that, surprise, you actually have some dignity. But before we get into the magic of flipping the script, let's do the obligatory beg for attention routine. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Not for me, but to feed the monster called the algorithm. Because honestly, you're not the only desperate soul who needs this reality check. So, move that lazy finger and do your part, or you'll stay stuck in the same miserable rut. Now let's get down to business. I'm not here to pat you on the head. I'm here to teach you how to stop being the fool in this story. Number one, why disdain is the ace. Up your sleeve. You didn't know you had. Let's cut to the chase. Disdain works because it hits one of the deepest chords in the human brain, the principle of scarcity. What's rare, what's not easily available, automatically becomes desirable. Why does everyone want diamonds? Because they're hard to get. They have that exclusive sparkle. Now, apply that concept to relationships. If you're always available, like a never-failing app, responding instantly, accepting any plan as if your schedule is a barren wasteland, guess what happens? You become predictable. And predictable is like a rerun of a show nobody asked for boring, loses its charm. When she knows she can count on you anytime, where's the challenge? Where's the thrill of uncertainty? Spoiler, it doesn't exist. Here's where controlled disdain comes in. That little trick of strategic disappearance. It's not about being cold or cruel, but about creating mystery. You start valuing yourself by becoming less accessible, not always available. Suddenly, she starts missing you. It's like a missing piece in her puzzle, and guess what? She'll want to fit it back. Why isn't he chasing me anymore? Is he busy? Has he found someone else? These questions will start eating away at her mind. And while you're mastering the art of disdain, here's the bonus. You focus on yourself. Now that you're not available 24-7, you have time to get your own life in order. What happens then? You grow, develop, become someone with interests, with goals, and that, my friend, is pure gold in relationships. No one wants a lifeless accessory. Everyone wants someone who's on the move, with ambition and self-worth. So disdain isn't just some cheap manipulation trick. It's a total reset of the dynamics. You stop being the puppy waiting for the next pat and become the guy she has to work for. And that, my friend, is where the game gets interesting. Number two, how to play the disdain card just right. So you've got it. Disdain is your secret weapon. But now comes the tricky part. Using it without looking like a soulless robot, or worse, a desperate fool toying with her emotions. Controlled disdain is an art, my friend. It's not about vanishing off the grid. It's about showing up just enough to leave her wanting more. Step one, stop being WhatsApp's slave. If you're that idiot who replies before she even finishes typing, knock it off. Slow down. I'm not saying ghost her for days, but take your time. Show her you've got other things going on. This sends a clear message. I'm not here to be your emotional sponge. Step two, seriously, get a life. What are you waiting for? Step out of your bubble. Find a hobby. Chase a goal. Do anything that makes you more interesting. Spoiler. Being a guy with zero personal life isn't attractive. Once you've got a life full of purpose, she'll notice you're more than just her backup plan. Step 3. Be the mystery. She can't crack. When you talk, be present. Be charming. But don't spill your whole life story. Keep some mystery alive. Make her wonder. What's he up to? Who's he with? A little uncertainty is healthy. You don't have to be an open book. 
leave her wanting to know more. Step 4. Master the social media game. Post strategically. Show that your life is thriving, but without looking like you're begging for attention. A photo of you in an interesting situation or a witty comment is enough to make her wonder what she's missing. And for the love of sanity, don't overdo it. Nobody likes a try-hard. Step 5. Don't cross the thin line between disdain and disappearing. Don't be the nutcase who vanishes for weeks thinking you're playing it cool. If you drop off the face of the earth, she'll move on, and you'll be history. Controlled disdain is a balancing act, present enough to be noticed, absent enough to be desired. Tired of being the clown she uses and tosses aside? It's time to flip the script. In the description, there's a book that'll teach you how to be a real challenge, how to stop bowing your head, and how to put any woman in her place. If you want respect, start acting like someone who deserves it. Stop being the doormat and become the player. Numero tres. The psychological tsunami of disdain. When you deploy controlled disdain, it's like tossing a silent grenade into her mind. The first explosion, curiosity. Suddenly, she's wondering, what the hell happened? Why did he stop trailing me like a lost puppy? That doubt isn't a gentle nudge. It's a blaring siren in her head. From curiosity, we escalate to the next stage, craving attention. What was once trivial, your constant presence now turns to gold. When someone who was always available starts pulling away, it triggers that annoying sense of loss. Even if she wasn't that interested before, the mere fact that you're not around as much plants an unsettling thought in her mind. Where is he? Now she wants to reclaim your attention. Then comes the sweetest poison, emotional uncertainty. Before everything was easy. You were always there like an open book of intentions. Now you're a mystery. She no longer knows what you feel, and that doubt is like an itch she can't scratch. This uncertainty makes her think about you more, trying to figure out what changed. And without realizing it, she starts focusing on you. Been there? You send a message, biting your nails, waiting for a reply. And what do you get? A big fat nothing. Her indifference hits you like a slap in the face, leaving your ego bruised and, let's be honest, a little pissed off. But chill, champ. Today, I'm going to show you how to flip the script. Instead of sulking or chasing after her like a lost puppy, you're going to learn to wield the most underrated weapon in the emotional arsenal. Silence. Yep, ignoring her right back is your ace in the hole. And no, this isn't about playing childish pride games. It's about regaining control of the situation. Believe it or not, silence can be louder than any desperate message. Want her to think about it? Let her sit in the fridge for a bit. Now, let's get down to business. But before we do, let's clear something up. This video exists because someone had the decency to like and subscribe. So stop freeloading and do your part. Hit that like button, subscribe, and if it's not too much to ask, drop a thanks in the comments. It's not for me. It's for the almighty algorithm. That's the only way YouTube knows this message needs to reach more thick-headed people like you. All right, sermon's over. Let's cut to the chase. Step 1. Understanding the behavior. Now that you're geared up to use silence as your secret weapon, it's crucial to figure out what's going on in her head. Why is she ignoring you? And no, it's not always because she doesn't care. Often, it's just a psychological game intentional or not to see how you'll react. Come on, everyone loves feeling desired. That includes her. Ignoring you might be her way of protecting herself, keeping emotional control, or flipping the power dynamic. It's the age-old need for validation. Or maybe she just wants to see if she can push your buttons. Who knows? Maybe she's waiting to see if you'll lose it, freak out, or keep your cool. Another angle? Her silence might be a direct response to your behavior. Maybe you came on too strong, or she's testing your limits. How far can I push this guy before he cracks? See the play? It's not about complete disinterest. 
It's just part of the emotional chess game people play, sometimes without even realizing it. Understanding this is critical. Once you grasp that her silence is tactical, it's way easier not to take it personally. You stop being the poor sap spiraling into self-doubt and become the guy who knows what's up. And right there, instead of chasing after her, you use this as a chance to subtly but powerfully show your worth. You prove you know where you stand and won't lose your mind over a delayed reply. Step 2. Response Strategies Now that you've decoded her little game, let's talk about flipping it in your favor. The idea is straightforward. Keep your composure and wield silence like a strategic weapon. Keep your cool. Rule number one, don't lose your cool. When someone ignores you, the knee-jerk reaction is to panic, spam them with messages or demand answers. Stop. Breathe. What do you need to do? Absolutely nothing. Keeping calm is the most powerful move you can make. It shows you're unbothered, not some desperate fool begging for scraps of attention. Remember, how you react defines how she sees you. If you're the guy who doesn't flinch at a little silence, you exude confidence and self-sufficiency. That's pure gold. Perfect. We've reached the grand finale. Time to refresh your memory on what really matters. First, disdain is gold because it plays on the principle of scarcity. What's hard to get automatically becomes more desirable. The less available you are, the more she'll want you. Simple and clear. Next, we covered how to apply disdain without being a total jerk. It's not about ghosting her, but it's also not about being there like a loyal puppy. Cut that constant contact, focus on your life, your interests, and learn to value yourself. That, my friend, is the game changer. Then, we talked about the psychological impact. Curiosity and the craving for attention are just the beginning. Emotional uncertainty hits hard. You stop being easy to read and turn into the puzzle she can't solve. The result? Your value skyrockets. You become the prize, not the poor guy chasing her around. And finally, but just as crucial, balance. You can't vanish completely, but you also can't cling like gum on her shoe. Strategic unpredictability is key. Show up when she least expects it, but never give yourself away completely. That tension is what keeps the game interesting and her orbiting around you. Now, my friend, take these lessons, apply them to your life, and watch everything change. No overdoing it. Stay in control and keep an eye on her reactions. Slowly but surely, you'll notice that all the power is in your hands. Enjoyed the advice? Leave a comment, share your experience, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. More doses of reality are on the way.